Hello guys, here is Olya and my blog about Ukraine. You know, I don't like cover political topic, but also I understand after a lot of your questions that you need some inside information from someone who lives in Ukraine, not only from world's news. And I decided to make this video. In this video, I decided to cover the most popular topic and the most popular questions about political situation in Ukraine nowadays. So the first one is how people feel about Poroshenko and his government. Uh, Poroshenko and government, it's uh, different people and diff different political party. And we need to understand that President Poroshenko have his own uh, political party and uh, head of government, Yatsenyuk, has his own political party. And people don't accept them as one piece. There is a lot of people who love Poroshenko but don't like Yatsenyuk and his government. There are a lot of people who support Yatsenyuk but don't like Poroshenko. So um, I think not a lot of people in Ukraine um, really accept them as one piece. So we divide uh, P President Poroshenko and uh, Prime Minister and his government. Uh, what people think about Poroshenko? Of course, you can find in uh, uh, YouTube videos or in any other sources a lot of people complain on government, government don't do anything, Poroshenko is bad, it's nuke is bad, everything is bad and we want a new president, new government and something else. Of course, this type of people always um, exist, I think, in any country and especially in Ukraine, there is a lot of people who never like government what they do and it's not important who is an authority now who is president now they also don't like everything what happens in their country but to be objective i think we need to see uh, if pe people really support poroshenko if they support uh, current government i think we need to see results of um, last local election in Ukraine. Local election was, first tour was 25 of October and the last one was uh, 15 of November. So it's the most, the most, the last uh, results of uh, election. And we can see how people support Poroshenko and his party and everyone else. So I just open sources of a central um, of voting center uh, official results and uh uh, there was candidate, uh, candidates in local uh, election from themselves and from political party. So about political party, the first uh, place uh, took uh, uh, party of Poroshenko. So the most people who support um, candidates from political party, they support Poroshenko. So he still have the biggest uh, supporting of population according to official results of election. Uh, the next one, uh, the second place, take Timoshenko's party. Maybe you know about Julia Timoshenko. Uh, she was former prime minister of Ukraine and probably she's a very uh, famous uh, woman, especially for people who um, are interested in Ukraine. And the third place took Agrarian party. And if you follow my blog, you see uh, some weeks ago my vlogs about their activity in my city. I'll show you uh, how they provided. So it was the third, uh, the first uh, three, three place in the election and there are others. So I want to say that people still support Poroshenko. And of course you can find a lot of um, people who complain that he don't do anything, we want changes, we want something else. But it doesn't mean that people want to change president. People want to force him change something else, change um, system, change some, some like activities and some rules in Ukraine. But it doesn't mean again that uh, they want to change president and find someone else. Really, I even don't know uh, who we can change. So I think uh, they really need to do something and that's what people protest, what people demand. They don't demand other president, they just demand action. The next um, question, uh, can Poroshenko be re-elected? I think it's uh, early to uh, speak about this now. We need to wait at least two more years because Poroshenko comes in, uh, Poroshenko came in very hard time in war, when uh, Crimea was occupied in Ukraine, when there was war, there was no army in Ukraine and really, really hard economical situation. And of course, 
Uh, a lot of people think that they are the best experts and if they will be president, if they would be president, they can like do this in one day. But really, um, I think every intelligent person understands that uh, world, world's leaders press Poroshenko and Putin press Poroshenko and uh, local like people in Ukraine and not people like local oligarchs in Ukraine also press him and he is pressed by all um, like he's surrounded and in these conditions he need to make some decisions and of course not everyone in Ukraine want to change not everyone from the world want that we changed and I think we don't know a lot of information we just know some information from social media but I think in real real situation is very very hard and I hope that Poroshenko do uh, all the best that we ca that he can do and I think we can judge it in war time in Ukraine and compare it with other time when there was no war so I think we need to wait at least two um, years to see and to think if Poroshenko can be re-elected um, what Ukrainians feel about new petrol police. Uh, I need to say that a lot of people like them. Of course, they are new, they don't know a lot of stuff and they do a lot of mistakes. But anyway, that's new level of policy and we can't compare them with previous police because previous police was terrible. And um, new police, they have a um, camera, they film in everything what they do and for example, if you say that they ask me bribe, you can uh, come to police department and they can uh, see with you all of, all like this movie all your videos with your conversation with policeman and see if he really uh, ask you for bribe or you decided this and something else and we even have some tv programs just when they show the most fun uh, conversation with police because they feel in everything how people propose them bride uh, how they even like put this in their pocket and something else and they refuse of it and a lot of different fun situations when people still don't understand that we really have new level of policy but new um, petrol police is not in every city for example in my city they just finished and studying and uh, uh, we didn't see them on streets yet but I hope uh, anyway it's new level of policy and everything will be okay in Ukraine. The bad things is that it's only petrol policy and other policy is still be the same like old people, the same old system. But I hope in future everything will change. Uh, what Ukrainians feel about um, foreigners being appointed to some key government position? Mm, well, I think um, <laughs> I don't know about all Ukrainians, but um, there is a lot of different meaning and someone complains, complains of course, why we can't hire our Ukrainians. Uh, the other people like it and I like it because I think it's not important if he is Ukrainian or she is Ukrainian or not. I think now we is in so hard situation that we need good managers and if we can hire good managers from any country uh, who can do something good for Ukraine, it's great. For example, um, Minister of Finance, uh, Natalia Yeresko, uh, she's from United States, but she's Ukrainian and last 20 years she lived in Ukraine. She has American uh, education and I think it's pretty good and she has American experience of doing business. What's wrong with Natalia Yaresko? I think she's a very, very good Minister of Finance and it's not, it's very important that she was born in the United States and she has such a great experience and can mm, like implement this, this experience in Ukraine. Uh, what do Ukrainians think about Michael Mikhail Saakashvili? Uh, Saakashvili, of course, he is so funny, he is a very, very great man and uh, as governor of Odessa, I think sh he do very, very good jobs for people. Uh, but um, he do a lot of good stuff for people and people like him, but the most important he is um, like the most the most important his purpose is to fight fight with corruption 
and with contrabandum because it's the most big problem. So people uh, don't feel this um, at one time, but of course it's very very important uh, purpose uh, and very important um, things that he needs solve. And which reforms need Ukraine? Uh, everyone told you that Ukraine needs reform in judicial field. It's the most important because everything what police even do, everything what they investigate, it's stopped in judge uh, field. And of course, it's the biggest problem. The other questions, why nothing changed? Of course, nothing changed and uh, everyone understand this. Nobody say it's okay, it's okay. Of course, people want reforms and of course they want reforms in uh, judicial field. But of course, now it still be the same and it's very annoying. <laughs> but I hope everything will change soon. It was short answer on questions about current situation in Ukraine. As you see, according to last results of local in, uh, election, people still support our president, they still support a democratical um, power. But of course, there is a lot of problems that we need to solve and they need to solve and people want to solve these problems. Hope you like answer um, of these questions and of course if you have more questions about political situation in Ukraine, please you're welcome ask me and I answer you on comments or make other video. Thank you for watching it. Bye!